What's your assessment of that? I thought the, the better team won the games, no doubt about that. I thought we had a good team there. Best team in the division, without a shadow of doubt, in my opinion. Um, I thought we started brightly, in fairness, in the first half. I thought we were well in the game. Bent has had some saves to make. Um, we've come out second half, played in more in there after the pitch, played more in their territory and had some balls going in the box and just not able to get on the end of them. And the second goal is the colour. The second goal is the one that puts the game to bed, in fairness. Uh, we just made a change to Wynaki Wells to really go for the game. And there's no doubt that Hugo puts a forearm across Tommy Rowe's face. Not on purpose. It, it, I don't think it was meant at all, but certainly Rowe goes down with a head injury. I'm not, surpri- I'm not sure why the game wasn't stopped. Um, but at the same time, we still have to look to defend it better. And that second goal really was the killer. As you say, they're a very good side and the pressure was relentless at times. You probably weren't able to get enough shots on goal today, were you? No, we wasn't. No, we didn't create nowhere near enough. The way that they play, Gregor, they're so expansive and they move the ball, they, they make the pitch really big. Having said that, when they turn it over, you know, they can be quite open at times and, and we thought that was our moment and we just weren't able to get that pass off, the first or second pass, to be able to get in and there were so many near misses. And, um, and from our point of view, that was that's where we have to look to improve in the next one. I thought certainly on the weekend against Preston, we were very, very good. We moved the ball crisp. We passed it much better than we did tonight. And that's the standard that we have to get back to. Um, Palmer and Cantwell came together in the second half there. That's the kind of spirit you want, isn't it, I guess? I don't think Casey did a lot. I know they both got booked. I didn't see Casey do anything wrong, really. Cantwell had, had hold of the ball, which he obviously shouldn't do. And all Casey did was sort of shove him a little bit. And, he, you know, obviously he went flying off, off the pitch. But Casey wanted to get the ball so we could play. I think the referee has to get involved and, and, and keep the game moving, yeah. And just last one on this match from me. Uh, Haki began a delicate in the first few minutes there. It's probably as close as you got, really, wasn't it? If he could have just got on the end of that Palmer yeah. shot. But yeah, yeah. Not too... As I said, we started pretty brightly and um, you know, we, we got into their final third, but as I say, just weren't able to, to make enough, to, to create enough chances. Yeah, it was, Haki's gone with, with Tim Crew and it's just spun wide of the post. And uh, as I say, we've lost to a top team tonight and, and you know we have to get ourselves ready for Millwall on Saturday now. Cheers, Dean. Thank you. OK, chaps. Anything else? Hey, Dean, can I just ask on Millwall? I've got a couple yeah. of questions on Millwall. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so obviously the FA Cup up next. You, you likely to go strong for this game or how do you see it? Might you possibly rotate the, the team a little bit, give other guys some minutes? I think we'll have to have a look, Gregor, in the next couple of days. Certainly it's in the back of my mind how many games we've got coming up in, in a short space of time. We've, we've got the Huddersfield game rearranged on Tuesday. And then we go to, uh, to Derby. Then we've got Brentford, which is now... Uh, I think going to be on the Wednesday for Sky and then we've we've got a game against Cardiff so there's lots and lots of games coming up in, in quick succession so I'll have to have a look at it in terms of how the boys recover from this one it's a long trip back tonight we won't get back till the early hours and we'll be in tomorrow to to recover and you know the boys that didn't play tonight will get some training minutes into them to get them ready for Saturday so we'll we'll make that decision I'll make that decision in the next couple of days well, Obviously it'll be a tough game at, at Millwall although their home form hasn't been outstanding this season I think they've only won one game at the Den in, in the Championship this season? It's always going to be a difficult t- test away to Millwall. There's no doubt about that. And um, we'll have to make sure we're, we're up for it and we're ready for the battle. And uh, we saw when they came to Ashton Gate uh, what, what a team they can be, what type of team, the way that they play. So we'll be ready for them, as I say. Just two housekeeping questions. With Cam Pring injured, and do we know how long he might be out for? If he's out for a while, might you look for another left back at all? Maybe even recall George Nurse? Pringy, unfortunately, will be having a, an operation on Saturday. He'll be out for 12 weeks, maybe 10 to 12 weeks. Um, okay. The nurse's situation, we're keeping an eye. Nurse is actually injured himself um, at Walsall, not, not fit at the moment. So, something that uh, we're looking into. Fair enough. And just finally, the Sky Sports commentators tonight said that Bristol City would rather lose Family Jeju on a free transfer in the summer rather than sell him for a nominal fee now in this window. Apparently, that's what Mark Ashton has said to them. Is that how you understand it? So basically, fan will be with us or be with the club until the end of the season, whatever? I certainly hope fan will stay at the football club. But my mind's not changed on that. We want Famara to stay. Um, I've not had any discussions in, in, in the last day or so 
with Mark around fam. So I'm not too sure about that comment in particular, but certainly, you know, from our as a player, we want to keep at the football club.